Hi YouTube, um, I'm Tasha, I'm back, and today I have a grocery haul! I'm so excited to do these, I've been watching, um, okay, really just Shanti, Auntie Shay, Ashanti's grocery haul videos, um, and they're really inspiring, they kind of help you figure out what you eat on, you know, like a no processed foods or a raw foods diet. I don't do raw foods, um, I can't give up meat and cheese and milk and stuff. Not yet. So I'm just on a non-process. So first of all, and you might be wondering why I'm doing a grocery haul in my bedroom. Um, that is because I don't have a camera I can use anywhere except right here. Well, we do have a camcorder, but this is my parents' camcorder. I could use my phone, I guess. Not great quality, but I guess it would probably work. So I'll try that next time. 2% milk. This is a cereal. It's toasted whole wheat flakes and flaxseed and then it has like some dried berries in there. Kashi TLC Toasted Asiago. I think that's how you pronounce that. Skippy Natural Creamy Peanut Butter. Um, I did buy the Adams 100% Creamy Peanut Butter. Um, the kind that has like the layer of oil at the top. I tried to stir it and I don't think I have anything strong enough to actually dig down in the peanut butter and like stir it all together because it's like really packed out at the bottom so it's just kind of sitting in the fridge for now um we did have a thought that maybe if we turn the atoms upside down then maybe everything will kind of even out um if anyone has tried it before or has any experience well, let me know and then we have cream of potato and cream of broccoli these are because for lunch next week i'm going to be making chicken pot pie um, soup. I tried making an actual chicken pot pie once, but um, I don't really like pie crust. I love the insides of chicken pot pie. I'm going to make my own. And I didn't buy the vegetables for that. I, I should buy them fresh and chop them all up myself, including the potatoes and broccoli and everything. I know, but I'm not quite there yet. Um, and I have mixed veggies already in the freezer that I bought last week. And we have one pound of... can't see it very well. Ground beef. This is 93% lean, so 7% fat. Um, I like buying the really super lean beef if I can. Um, I know our store has carried before, like, um, I think it was 3 or 4%. They didn't have any this time, um, but this was the best they had. Everything else was like 10%. Um, because I really hate fatty meats. Boneless, skinless breast fillets. And this is, um, like kind of pre-seasoned and designed for grilling. I don't care. I'll just toss it in the oven and bake it up. I probably won't use all three, so that'll let me use the other one. Like if I want to put it on salad or something, it's already kind of pre-seasoned. Frozen broccoli. I don't have a specific plan for this, but I just like having frozen veggies around because you can toss them in anything. Laughing But Yes. I have to take this all back downstairs afterwards. I don't have a camera I can use downstairs yet. The cat's being insane. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get the cat. Sorry about that. Okay, so where was I? Laughing Cow. Original creamy Swiss cheese. I might put some on the the Kashi crackers. Granola. Cherry. Um, cherry vanilla granola. Blueberries and blueberries because blueberries are not in season right now. But I love blueberries, especially frozen blueberries. I could just like pop them like candy. Um, it's actually one of my favorite desserts to do is just get like a bowl of frozen blueberries and drizzle some honey on top. Oh, so good. Um, but yeah, like toss them in oatmeal or the yogurt with the granola. Yeah, yeah. And this was my compromise with myself. There you go. Mango sorbet. Um, if I ate this whole thing, it would probably kill me. There's 36 grams of sugar per serving, which is a half cup, and there's four servings in this little... Is this a pint? Yeah, in this little pint, there's four servings. Because I learned how to do the calculations for sugar grams in the teaspoons. So let's see, 36 times 4. So it's actually 144 grams of sugar in this. Oh my god! divided by 4.4. There are 32 teaspoons of sugar in this pint. 32 teaspoons. I might have like one or two spoons of this at a time. 
It's kind of a quick fix, frozen, sugary, light, when I need to cool off or something. So this is not going to be eaten all at once. Never eat these all at once. There's also 150 calories per serving, per half cup. 600 calories and 144 grams of sugar. Oh, and one little delicious pint of death. Be careful. Okay, so I'm going to try to do weigh-ins on Saturday. That is the easiest day to do so. Tomorrow actually starts our sparring season, which is cool because we have a whole bunch of people signed up and they make teams, and then like two people will go, and then the next two people will go, and next two, and then the whole team gets points, so it's not just, you know, one person versus the other, and that's all that matters. Um, so whichever team has more points at the end is the winner for that round, and then, you know, they have, like, the whole tournament ranking thing that they do. And then at the very end, you have a grand total winner, um, and they usually go out for, like, a pizza party or something. And I still have one more thing I want to show. Okay, so for my cardio, I, I want to join the gym... Maybe. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Because my schedule is so tight, and I don't know that I want to pay for a gym that I'm only going to use once or twice a week. Um, so I might see if there's some cardio I can do here at home. And I know there's strength training I can do here. That's easy. Um, I checked today at the grocery store to see if they had kettlebells, and they didn't up front in their whole we're cashing in on the New Year's resolution section. Um, but I know they have some further back. I just didn't think about it in time. So I want to get some of those because I've heard nothing but good things about kettlebell workouts and I've seen nothing but amazing results. So I want to try that. Um, in the meantime, turbulence training, I need to get doing. I haven't done it yet. Oh, I can't slack. I want to plan out my week. I'm eating this. I am exercising this every day. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. Hasn't helped before. Well, it has, but I can't keep it up. I don't keep it up. Not that I can't, I just haven't. Um, but anywho, so I discovered a new source of cardio. Not discovered, rediscovered. It used to be one of my most favorite things in the whole world to do. And I just recently got reminded about it. And... Excuse the messy room. DDR! So I actually spent my money a long time ago and got a good metal pad that was going to hold up for a while. Um, it's not a red octane or... Flux or cobalt flux. It's not any of the really expensive ones, um, but it's good because it works on carpet. And it's metal, so it's going to hold up. And so I brought it up here. I can't find the little adapter thing to hook it to my computer because I have Step Mania, which has like every single song that Konami has ever created, ever, even for um, In the Groove. I want to do Blood Rush so bad. Anyway, I digress. Um, so I hooked it up. It's hooked up to my PS2 right now, which is kind of on its last legs. I hope it doesn't die, because this is the only way I can do DDR until I find that adapter. Um, but anyhow, so I was doing it earlier, and it does have a workout mode where it tracks how many calories you're burning. And I did, like, five songs. I'm really rusty, so it was just, like, a medium. And I burned, like, 70 calories. It's pretty pitiful. It said it was equivalent to 130 jump ropes, though. I don't know how that figures, but you know, I figure the songs are about a minute and a half each, so, um, what is that? My math is horrible. So that's like seven and a half minutes of it, you know, I guess that's not bad. I need to get back into doing the really hard songs, that's where you start sweating a lot. Um, these were like, ugh, just trying to get my coordination back. It's crazy. Um, so I want to be doing that, and it's fun. I mean, I could just stand here and do that for a couple hours. You know, especially with it being wintertime, I can just open my window, and I have a f an uber fan over there that I can turn on, so, you know, I can keep cool enough to keep going, because it's a lot of fun. I love DDR. Okay, so I think that is it. Weigh-in is tomorrow morning on Saturdays. Um, last week was 2.23, but I haven't really exercised. I've just kind of been keeping up on my eating, which I didn't do too great. I had, like, two cheat meals. So we'll see what happens. I hope I don't gain... I have not been able to break past 220. If I can just break past 220, then I know I'm in the right direction. And then I can keep going. So, oh, this is 18 minutes. Oh, see you guys later. Bye.